I'd like to go back to what you said earlier, which really um, piqued my interest. When you said it seemed to be taking the place of like the Holy Sacrament um, mm -hmm. and that it's become like a religion. Right, that's a nice um, analogy. I just, you know, this is a, you know, this is murmurings that have started to come out in social media and in general, even in our little neighborhood where people are saying things, you know, kind of like, it feels kind of like a, like a religious uh, rite of passage or something. What do you, do you see that in Canada a lot? I mean, oh, what's your- You're awesome, Julie. I'm glad you brought this up. I, I've been dying to talk about that side of it. All cults and religions have these different rituals that what those rituals are designed to do is to get uh, the the mind of the person into a habit and a routine mm -hmm. of thinking in a certain way by expressing these external rituals. It's, it's more about the mind than it is rubbing beads and praying and getting on your knees three times a day. It's more about training the subconscious to be a repetitive, right. easily responsive robot, really. Right. And, uh, and there's also positive rituals that you can have, but it, sure. it ends up becoming really draconian when it's like enforced rituals. Right? right. And then, so you think, well, when you go into a church, when I was a kid, I go into my grandma's church, she was a Catholic. You walk in and you bless yourself with the holy water. Right. And there's these little things that you do as you enter. And it's all about cleanliness, yeah. right? Yeah. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And then you wear the certain, uh, you dress up. And the priests wear their robes and their garb. And if you're in a different religion, it's different, you know, headgear and all that stuff. And it's a symbol of your faith and belief in the religion. Okay. Um, so if you think about all those ingredients, and we could go on forever about them, apply that to what we're now experiencing with this pandemic. You want to go into a store, you want to go into the mall, you want to go get gas in your car. You have to, what do they got? A guy standing there, squirt, squirt you know, anoint yourself in the holy oil and make sure you don the religious garb before you enter the right. holy temple and um, make sure you show that you're contrite and obedient. Um, and the gods and the, the Bible of this religion is the science and the doctors and the experts as opposed to the Bible or the book or the priests or whatever. And sure. so you just, the more we could keep going on and on with the symbolic esoteric level of right. what we're being brought into because the people that organize this understand uh, something that Edward Bernays called the public mind. And they understand that there's individual consciousness. And then there's when people get blended into a group, there's actually an entity of a consciousness of a sort that is much easier program. Like when you go to a sporting event or you go to a big event, everybody starts to cheer as one and chant as one. And again, it's not always negative, but when you, uh, when you understand the science of how to uh, basically co-opt and control the public mind, you can gain, if you control the people, you can gain control over the land, the resources, and, and the ship of state. And so they know that they needed a religious-like uh, method in order to get people to believe in something that their rational mind would question right away. 